Hello library families! It's Miss Laura here from the Innisfil ID Lab and Library and thanks for joining me for another Wacky Craft Wednesday. Today we're going to make duct tape wallets. All you need is some fun colored duct tape, I got mine at the dollar store, and a pair of scissors. So we're going to start by measuring out four pieces of one color of duct tape, about nine inches long. They're going to overlap about a quarter to half an inch to make it nice and strong. It's a bit tricky to cut the sticky duct tape, so I started taping mine to the table and then cutting it off. And now grab your second color and cut nine inches. And this one you want to start halfway down the other color of duct tape. So again, they overlap a bit to give yourself a nice strong wallet. So you'll need five strips of the secondary color. Then we'll turn it over and fold over the excess. Next, we're gonna trim the edges so they're nice and straight. You can also do this with an X-Acto knife. So it measures about eight and a half inches by six inches now. You're gonna fold it over and now we're gonna make the pocket. So take two pieces of one of the colors of duct tape, about five inches long, and attach them together with about quarter inch to half inch overlap. Then pick one strip of the complementary color, about five inches long, and fold over the excess. Measure it to make sure your card will fit, and then trim the edges. So now we're gonna fold our wallet in half, make sure our pocket fits on. Cut a piece of one of the colors of tape for the edge. I'm just gonna put a little slit on the top to fold that over easier inside the wallet and cut off the extra that we don't need. And do the same on the second side, but don't forget to tape in your pocket. So fold over the extra tape on the inside of the wallet. Now cut an extra piece to fit your pocket on. And now one final piece along the bottom in the complementary color to hold everything in. And now you have your very own duct tape wallet. You can always add more pockets. You can have one, two, three, or four if you put them on both sides. And we'd love for you to share your crafts with us at the library. You can tag us on social media or you can email me at l-j-e-f-f-e-r-y at innisfailidlab.ca. Hope to see you all soon. Take care.